Hi YouTube. So this is your boy GB Reviews. Uh, hey YouTube friends and family. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about the new, the brand new, the new new 2018 RS5. So today I got my boy Jeff yes. helping me out. Jeff Mosley helping me out. He's uh, my boy. He was an Audi specialist and now he's doing his own thing. So if you need real estate, please hit my boy. I'll drop his uh, YouTube channel down in the bottom so you can hit him up directly. But we're gonna talk about this Audi today, just so you can see what the new 2018 RS5 looks like. So with that, let's get at it. Today we're doing a detailed review of the RS5. Um, I apologize for the lighting, but I have to do it when I can get it. My man over there, Jeff, is gonna help me walk through some of the features with you guys. Um, as you can see, it is very similar. Very similar, but different from my RS7. My RS7 is hot. But this is the new hotness, the new hotness. Look at that, look at those wheels, new hotness. Look at this color, I don't even know if you can tell, but that is some funky blue that I've never seen before. It's got the flakes in there, it's like the pearl effect, but the two-tone with the lighting, oh, I mean, it is. So it's the new hotness, as you can see. Look at the lights, the new hood. I, I, I'm not 100% sure I'm feeling the new hood yet, it's, it's not growing on me because I don't like these extra uh, lumps that they put in the hood but hey whatever Audi can do what they can do because they're making the freshest cars in the game right now um, but anyway the new RS5 I'm gonna go through some of the features it has a lot of features like the RS7 but then there's a lot of things that, that Audi has tried to improve on I'm gonna have my man Jeff help me out because he got to walk me through some of the features but we're gonna talk about it inside. So I'm gonna sit in the passenger seat. We're gonna let him sit in the driver's seat and we're gonna drive a little bit so that you can see how it moves. I think that one of the key differences between this and the previous generation is the fact that this sunroof actually is a sunroof. It's not a moonroof. So if you give me a second, I'm gonna open it up for you. You could not do that with the previous generation. Uh, it actually comes all the way up. All the way up. All look way at up. that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's the panor panoramic. I mean, that's what everybody always wanted was the panoramic. This is a panoramic sunroof. So, all right, we're getting in here. Let's make it happen. All right. All right. Still recording? Yeah, all we're right. recording. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, this car makes the exact same horsepower as the previous generation, except for it has about 30 more pound feet of torque. So, this actually does deliver as far as low end grunt. People really love their previous generation because it was a high revving, naturally aspirated V8. Um, this car is boosted, so it does have the aid of turbochargers, but you get a lot more bang for your butt in terms of fuel economy and in terms of actual acceleration. So this car is good for zero to 60 in sub four seconds. Uh, Audi usually underrates their performance, so they claim 3.9. I've actually seen as good as 3.7. Uh, but this is a, a consummate performer. One of the key things about this particular car is it's not really regarded as a sports car. It's regarded as a touring car. So it's more of a, a GT car. So if you have to eat up the miles and just pound the pavement, this is the car you're going to want to be in because it's comfortable. Some of the key features of the car that we definitely want to talk about are some of the creature comforts that uh, the competitors are trying to catch up with. You get the sequential lighting in the back. You got to get that. So if you want to do a walk around, I'm gonna have let you me crunch unlock it. it and then have you do like a... Don't ask me for the stats, I love practice. I think it's, no, I know the stats on this. Was it 450 and 444? Yeah, but I'll, I'll put it in the video, so. Yeah. All right, brother, go crank it up, and then we'll do the sequential lighting in the back, just because I know everybody wants to see that. Oh, yeah, the sequential lighting is sick, and of course, if you want to hear the exhaust. Hit it. Hit it again. Shit is full of water. All right, one more time, we get close. Hit it one more time. Key 
key differences between the standard S5 and the RS5, uh, namely in terms of like the instrument clusters and some of the things that you're gonna have access to. Uh, with the RS5 uh, and with the S5, you get the, of course, the virtual cockpit, but the difference is traditionally you get the center mounted gauges that kind of shrink and, 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 and grow. Now, with the RS models, you get a center mounted gauge, which has all the information, so it's kind of a more racier cluster. So you just press the view button here, and it changes from a more racier tack to a more, uh, this is called the infotainment view. So it gives you the large Google map image, which, of course, you can just use the rotary knob here, which can zoom in and zoom out and of course this ha this does capture real-time traffic uh, so it's a very beautiful interface and of course it operates a lot faster than the standard uh, or those of the uh, competitors in this particular market sector so yeah make sure you show me you can zoom in and zoom out and do all that which is kind of nice oh nice, nice. So then we're gonna go to map here and you said, and you said that you said it has real-time traffic. It does have real-time traffic, it's provided via Google. Uh, so it's, it, this is a Google satellite image. So you can actually see if we zoom out a little bit. I might be able to show you a little bit better on this one, but you can see the red lines and the green lines will actually show you the uh, traffic ingestion. So it does show you the traffic pattern. So uh, and also on your on here as well. So Audi is all about redundant features. So. There's always more than one way to skin a cat with Audis, and of course, again, this is illustrated here and here, but you can see the real-time traffic is moving quite smoothly right here on uh, Route 7 here. Okay. All right, so like the previous model um, RS7, not the RS5, you, you notice that this has the same seating as my um, RS7 with the dynamic Audi exclusive interior. And so this has the, the, the same type sport seats with the difference. Audi has outdone themselves because now the sport seats actually have a massaging feature. And the massaging feature is a three-way massaging feature, so it's not just one setting. And we're going to go through that. If you look at the screen right here, you'll see that it has wave, knead, and stretch. Now this, as, as Jeff previously talked about, it's a sports car, but it really it is a touring car. You can drive and drive and drive and drive in this car because the car is gonna make sure that you stay comfortable while driving. Now, one of the things I wanted to ask you, Jeff, does it have, um, or is are, is it an available feature to get the um, Audi stop and go in this car? Oh, oh yeah, so the, uh, the driver assistance package is something that's available. See, this particular model is not uh, the top of the line, but if you opt for the top spec, you can get the driver assistance, and that does give you the uh, stop-start functionality in terms of uh, the Audi traffic. So Audi traffic does give you the ability, if you set it up appropriately, it will stop and go with traffic. So it does give you radar guided cruise control. It also gives you active lane keep assist. Now Audi has uh, two different programs that op that function within that particular uh, system. So you have standard radar guided cruise control, of course, and stop and go with traffic. There's also something called Audi traffic jam. With Audi traffic jam, it will literally stop and go with traffic if you get it set up that way. So if you do a lot of commuting, particularly in the DC metropolitan area, we have horrendous traffic. If you're sitting in traffic, this car will move you along uh, at a fair pace uh, with optimal or minimal input. Okay. This Audi RS5 has a 2.9 liter V6 engine. Um, it's a twin turbo, very different from the previous models, uh, V8 naturally aspirated uh, engine, but gives you the same amount of horsepower and same uh, and more torque. So you'll find that this car's engine is much sportier than the previous model. Yeah, after some driving impressions, like, cause like I said, we're not supposed to be driving. So we're probably, no, we're, we're, we're very lucky to be driving this right now, even though we're just driving around a lot. So right now, are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording, go ahead. So as it stands right now, we're in individual mode and I kind of set up to be a little more highly sprung, but if you put it in comfort mode, I feel every single bump, but if you put it in comfort mode, it definitely irons out everything. You remember when we were driving before? Yeah. How it was bouncing around, and this is relatively smooth payment. Yeah. Now it's like a Cadillac. You can't, yeah, you can't it's, feel it. It's whisper, it's whisper quiet in here, but it's super, super smooth. And so this yeah. is, uh, you know. Now for the dynamic setting, how are the, how are the springs? The springs, uh, this is a uh, adjustable setup, so the, the dampers and the springs do have uh, the magnetic rheological fluid. So it is it. the magnetic ride height, it, okay. It, it does have magnetic, this particular car is equipped with it because you can get it with uh, different types of suspensions. This one does have variable suspensions and as such, 
when you put it in dynamic mode, the ride becomes a lot more stiff, a lot more rigid, and uh, corners a lot flatter. Cor corners like a, a Corvette. So you be you feel no body roll whatsoever when you actually put this in dynamic mode. Oh, this is good. So, what are some of the things that you think you like about this model versus the previous model? Uh, versus the previous model? Uh, the performance. The performance and did I say performance. Uh, this car uh, gets better fuel economy, uh, it's faster, it's a lot more refined, uh, the use of uh, high quality materials all throughout, uh, Audi has definitely stepped their game up. So, for those looking for a robust driving experience uh, with a little bit of maturity baked into it, uh, this is the uh, perfect car for you. Oh, just to show you a different color. I showed you a blue one. I just wanted to show you. All right, well, that's it for today. Um, you know, I had to get an assist. You know, my my boy trying to get me to do a, a alley oop on this. Yeah. But uh, I want to thank the folks at Audi at Tyson's Corner. They always give us the best cars to talk about. That's the new hotness. I'm gonna tell you. I still enjoy my RS7, so I'm not I'm not gonna give that up. But I like this car. This be a good car for my son. He just turned 16. So once I hit the lotto, yo, I got him. I got him. Just letting you know. But anyway. That's it for today. This is your boy GB. My boy Jeff. GB Reviews out. Subscribe, like, like, like,